No, it's my turn. How is it your turn? I am asking you. No. <laughs> no, it's my turn. It's my turn. You cannot. Girls. So the sunnah will be relevant today is to not argue with others. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, I guarantee a house in Jannah for one who gives up arguing, even if he is in the right. This was narrated in Abu Dawood. It was also narrated by Aisha Ta'ala that the Prophet وسلم, said, that the most hated person in the sight of Allah is the most quarrelsome person. Allah's Messenger وسلم, said, Verily, Allah has revealed to me that you must be humble towards one another so that no one oppresses another or boasts to another. This was narrated in Sahih Muslim 2865. In another hadith, it was reported that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said to Ashaj Abdul Qais, May Allah be pleased with him. You possess two qualities that Allah loves. These are clemency and tolerance. This was narrated in Sahih Muslim. For those who don't know, clemency is mercy. When a servant of Allah has mercy on another and tolerance is is to have patience and um, tolerate one another. Sorry, Mana, I was wrong. It was your turn. I know. There is no problem. We can watch together. <coughs> so we don't have to fight and we have to share and, and not fight for something. And we should also follow the saying of our Prophet The Sunnah food we chose today is chicken. Ibn Jawzi said, The Prophet used to eat meat whenever it is available and he also ate chicken. In another hadith narrated by Abu Musa al-Ashari it is said, I saw the Prophet وسلم, eating chicken. This was narrated in Sahih Bukhari uh, 55.17. So today we are also making our Ramadan recipe from chicken. So stay tuned to see the recipe as well. For today's recipe, we are going to make chicken fajitas. First of all, we are going to grab some boneless chicken and cut into stripes and we are going to marinate it with the following ingredients. 2 tablespoons of olive oil, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon paprika, 1 teaspoon onion powder, 1 teaspoon garlic powder, salt to taste and 1 third of a teaspoon of black pepper. You can also add ketchup, barbecue sauce and garam masala as well along with some lemon juice and lemon zest but these are optional. After uh, adding all of the ingredients of the marination we will mix it and leave it to marinate for 
uh, two to three hours minimum and it's best if you do it overnight. We're also going to use vegetables in our fajitas. We're going to use three bell peppers, red, yellow and green, uh, sliced in stripes and one medium onion, thinly sliced. In a pan, cook the marinated chicken. Once our chicken is cooked, we're going to take it out of the pan and we're going to stir fry the veggies in the same pan. You can also add salt and pepper if you like. So now in the cooked veggies, we're going to add the previously cooked uh, chicken and we're going to mix it well. And then later on, we're going to add cheese. Uh, you can add any cheese of your choice. And we're going to put a lid on it so that it can melt faster. And we're going to mix it and uh, make the mixture cheesy. Now we're going to get a tortilla and we're going to assemble our fajitas. You can also add any sauce if you want, but we are uh, going to eat a simple version of it. So guys, today is day 21. We're going to open our daily calendar and well, today's treats uh, are um, butter toffees. These are Nutella flavored and they are also from the Aguila brand. We uh, really love that brand. So we have our decor of the day and our picture of the day as well. Um, so today's decor is Rabbana Tahbat Bainana Babaina Kaumena Bilhaka the translation is our lord decide between us and our people in truth for you are the best to decide and in today's picture of the day we can see a snake the snake um, reminds me of the story of musa salam uh, in the story when uh, they had to they went to the pharaoh and they had to do magic they had like a magic competition i i don't know they had to do like magic i i'm not sure what, why did they have to do so but uh well um what happened was um the pharaoh sent their best magicians and they threw sticks and those sticks became serpents and then uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Musa salam to throw his stick uh, on the ground and it became a great cobra and the cobra ate all of the uh, tiny snakes and sticks and um, it, it came to its original form again. This picture shows us a snake. This is from the story of Musa salam when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted Musa salam a postal ship. We learned from the Quran that Musa salam was traveling to Egypt with his family. During his journey, Musa salam spotted a firelight near Mount Tur. He told his family to stay so that he could go to investigate and bring some fire to be warm. When he arrived near the fire, there was no fire except a green tree and a light. There, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly spoke to Musa salam for the first time. O oh Musa, I am your Lord. In Surah Al Qasas, in verse 29 onwards, it is said When Moses had completed the term and was traveling with his family, he spotted a fire on the side of Mount Tur. He said to his family, Stay here, for I have spotted a fire. Perhaps from there I can bring you some directions on a, or a torch from the fire so you may warm yourselves. But when he came to it, he was called from the bush in the sacred ground to the right side of the valley. O oh Moses, it is truly I, I am Allah, the Lord of all worlds. Now throw down your, st your staff. But when he saw it slithering like a snake, he ran away without looking back. Allah reassured him, O oh Moses, 
draw near and have no fear. You are perfectly secure. Now put your hand through the opening of your collar. It will come out shining, white, unblemished. And cross your arms tightly to calm your fears. These are two proofs from your Lord to Pharaoh and his chiefs. They have truly been rebellious people. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala awarded Musa alayhi salam the title of messenger, provided him two miracles and told him to go to the Pharaoh and preach to him. The miracles were his stick turning into a snake and his hand becoming white and shiny, shining brightly. Pharaoh didn't accept Musa alayhi salam and began mocking him. Musa alayhi salam threw his stick down onto the ground and it turned into a snake. Pharaoh related this to a magic trick. So he set down a contest between Musa alayhi salam and magicians. On that day, the magicians threw their robes and sticks which seemed to turn into snakes. But when Musa alayhi salam threw his stick, it turned into a giant snake that ate up all of them. Then the magicians prostrated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, We believe in your faith, O Musa. In Surah Taha, which is chapter 20, in verse 65, it is said, They said, O Moses, either you cast or let us be first, the first to cast. Moses responded, No, you go first. And so, suddenly their robes and staffs appeared to them, to him, by their magic, to be slithering. So Moses concealed fear within himself. We reassured him, do not fear, it is certainly you who will prevail. Cast what is in your right hand and it will swallow up what they have made. For what they have made is no more than a magic trick. And magicians can never succeed when, wherever they go. So the magicians fell down in prostration declaring, we believe in the Lord of uh, Aaron and Moses. So guys, that was all for today. Don't forget to give a like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment below, and share with your friends and family. Stick with us to see tomorrow's vlog then as well. Bye!